Hey guys, it's me, Callie. Today I'm going to share with you how I created this really cool mixed media art journal page based on eight prompts given by Mike Deacon. I believe it was Linda Simpson was the mission controller this month for his mission inspiration challenge. Uh, each month he gives eight prompts as well as some color suggestions and word prompts so you can create your own mixed media art journal page. I always have a lot of fun with these challenges. If you're interested, stick around. I'll show you how I created this one. And I'll leave everybody's links below this video so you can check out the group and see if you'd like to do something like this yourself. See you in a minute. Okay, let's get started. As usual, I'm using my Delusions Journal by Ranger. I've already prepped my page with some masking tape and a thin coat of gesso. And our first prompt is to apply patterned paper or tissue. So I have this pad of Tim Holtz assorted patterns, etc., that I've had for a while. And I'm going to use this butterfly moth paper and I'm just going to tear it up in random pieces and just glue them on the page. I'm using my decoupage matte medium by uh, Americana and I'm just going to brush it right on. I have an old brush I use for glue and things. And this paper is fairly thick, so I'm going to get the back as well as where I'm placing it, just to help it adhere a little better. And I'll just go around the page. I'm not going to cover the entire surface of the page, um, but I will randomly go around, and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Okay, here's what it's looking like pretty dry right now. I'm happy with it. I used one full sheet of that paper. And the next prompt is to add a thin coat of a suggested color. And this year Mike has started adding suggested colors as well as word prompts to his missions. So the closest that I could come to his suggested colors of green, yellow, and brown are these. Um, I have Americana, Multi-Surface Satin and Coffee Bean, School Bus, and Leprechaun. So I'm going to actually use all of those, um, and I'll do a thin coat of each, and then I'm going to kind of wipe it off just with a wet paper towel, I think. So let's see. I'm going to do, let's do brown. Of course, I forgot to bring some water. Go in with the green. I have no idea where this page is going to take me. I never plan these missions out. I just like to kind of do it intuitively and see what happens. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but that's how I choose to do it. And then, wipe it again the best I can. Top it off with some of that yellow, which is really vibrant. And then I'm just going to wipe it off. All that hard work. So starting at the bottom. I'm going to obviously leave some behind. And then I like that. A 
What do you think? I like the way that looks. Definitely a thin coat of color. Okay, that green is probably darker than anything. Maybe I'll try to go over that one more time, just a little bit. And try to blend in the edges a little more. It's not so... Okay, I like that. Cool. Alright, the third prompt is to use a stencil with the medium of your choice. Let me grab that and I'll be right back. Okay, this is nice and dry now. Um, use a stencil with medium of your choice. I've decided to use my Delusions. Uh, this is large bubbles. And I have some Liquitex modeling paste. So I'm just going to kind of randomly lay some of this down. And I was thinking um, that I may do some spray ink on top of this. Uh, when it's done, I'm not sure. So let's just kind of I have a larger spatula. I think I'll do that. Kind of I love this stencil. It's great for spray inks. Whatever. Very cool. Looks like I need to do a little more down in this corner. So I'll just put a little down. A little dab will do ya. Yeah, we'll see how this dries, and I may or may not just give it a spritz of some spray ink to color it. Um, if I had thought enough about it, I would have colored the texture paste, but I didn't. So, But let's see how it looks when that dries. have options. That looks cool. Isn't that a great stencil? See when it's dry. Okay, the texture paste is nice and dry now, and instead of doing like spray ink over it, I just want to kind of mute out the white a little bit. I decided to take my uh, Statler watercolor crayons. I had these out for another project recently, and I am going to go over those white bubbles. I just pulled out the same colors, yellow, green, and brown, and I have a water brush, and as a for instance, say the green, I'm just going to lightly color on top of these bubbles. And then I'm going to activate the color with my water brush. And I'll show you how I'll do that. And then I'm going to continue off camera. And that's just to kind of I don't know, blend it in a little bit. They still stand out, but just an idea. I like it. Okay, so you get the idea. I'm just going to continue doing that, and I will see you back here, obviously, with, you know, brown, green, and yellow. How original. Um, and I'll see you back here when that's all nice and done and dry. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I wasn't sure when I started, um, but I think it looks pretty cool. What do you think? Anyway, next prompt is to add a focal image, and once again, I have no idea, but our theme is spring and regeneration and things like that, so... Let me see what I got in my stash, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, in keeping with our butterfly and moth theme, I decided for a focal point, I have this gift bag, and it has these beautiful butterflies and moths on it. 
so I just fussy cut around some of them and I figured that I would scatter them around the page you know kind of like that sort of what do you think so that's what I'm going for I'm going to use my Aliens Clear Tacky Glue glue these down and I'll be back when they're dry okay guys I let these dry overnight I think it looks pretty cool and I outline them with what's left of my Stabilo pencil I just ordered some more of these and I just went around each butterfly and activated it with my water pen so they you know pop out a little bit add a little bit of shadow and our next prompt is to add at uh, two rubber stamps or clear stamps so I went through my stash and I decided to I'm going to take one of these from I think these are Inka Dinka Doo stamps and use my black stays on with that and I'm going to just kind of randomly you know me that's my favorite word um, stamp around I don't know wherever it lands let's see yeah I don't you know whatever and then the next one that I'm going to use is a piece of a pot holder I got this in some happy mail these things work great it's a silicone heat mat with a hexagon shape and I didn't have any other colored inks besides white and black so I recently saw I think it was Stacy from pink poodle crafts use Crayola markers as a stamp and she just drew on her stamps and used it that way so I'm gonna give that a try um, with this copper colored one and I'm just gonna kinda lightly brush the surface and I'm gonna breathe on it to activate it and then let's just pop it down and see how that works oh yeah it looks cool can you see that I like that a lot it's a little more subtle than the black obviously so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go around a little bit with the black and then do my honeycombs with the Crayola so I'll show you that when that's done okay guys this is how it turned out I wasn't crazy about the black at first but I've learned to like it I had a little oops moment at the bottom here and I've just you know you just got to go with it a little wabi-sabi right so our next prompt is to add marks with a like a credit card or a card I'm decided to use some of the same paint um, this Americana multi-surface satin in coffee bean and I have a card that came in the mail so I'm just gonna kind of there's that word again randomly go around and just I don't know Oops, whoops, speaking of wabi-sabi, yeah, we got, there's so much texture on the page, it's hard to get a, okay, maybe a couple in here, whoop-de-doo, all right, um, is that it? That'll work. I don't know, it's not. Alright, that's good enough for me, guys. I don't know. It's the end of the page, you know. Alright, what's our next prompt? Add a quote, title, or phrase. It's always hard for me. I usually fall back on the song lyrics, but... Let me give that some thought, and I'll come back, and we will add it. Okay, guys, I literally went on quotes.com and looked up butterfly quotes, and I found one by a French poet named Ponce Le Brun, and the quote is, The butterfly is a flower flying, the flower a tethered butterfly. And I thought that was really pretty. 
so I decided to just stamp out the words and I'm using the ends of um, this is my mixed media sheets here and these little ripped off pieces from where you tear your pages okay I stamped on those with a small alphabet stamp I have and I'm going to further you know darken that and everything um, I have these little teeny tiny I keep them in a plastic bag little wooden alphabet stamps um, I think I got these at my local either on Amazon or at Walmart really cheap and my good old black stays on so I stamp them and then I'm going to just go over them with this Tim Holtz Distress Stain in Vintage Photo. That'll just kind of turn it brown. And then, just lightly, just to age it, um, I will be trimming off the top edges even though that's a cool little effect. And I may file around the edges, like with an emery board, just to roughen it. So once I get those all together, you know, got to use my tacky glue. And I'll just be putting them around the page. Okay? So that's what we're doing with that. And I'll see you when that's all done. Okay, guys, what do you think? I think it looks pretty good. All right, and I went around the outside of the wording with uh, one of my Stabilo pencils and just activated it with my water brush to just kind of highlight that a little bit. And our last final prompt is to add a frame or a border. And honestly, I'm going to keep this very simple. And being that I have my Stabilo pencil out already, I literally am just going to color around the outside edge of this page all the way around and I'll show you here how nicely that will just kind of turn into the perfect frame. Very simple, okay? So I'm going to just go all the way around and I'll be back when that is done and we'll be finished okay see you in a few minutes okay guys what do you think i'm filming this on my phone so i could get much closer i think it came out really cool so i hope you like it if you do please give me a thumbs up make sure you check out all the links below to mike deacon's group on facebook as well as his personal page and tell him callie sent you join along each month try it out see what you think Take care, guys. I'll see you next month.